man, that track slaps. What's going on, y'all? Uh, during my birthday stream, I played Incredible Hulk. One of my favorites uh, as a kid. Which is kind of weird, because, like, gameplay-wise, it's not that good. It's just... Like, it's really good graphics, really good music, and it's all smashing people. So they nailed the spirit, so even though the gameplay isn't the best, it's still a pretty awesome game. Aside from level 5, that platforming really sucks. But I'm going to be playing through the entire thing, so I'll show you what I mean when we get there. And without further ado... Hulk Smash. I'm just going to play on normal. Yeah, this is what I love about it. The graphics and the music, top notch. Animations are all right. But they really nailed those satisfying smashes. I forgot there was a secret up here. So yes, if you've never seen this game before, the health bar goes like this. The red is banner. You are banner when you have red health. Green is normal Hulk. That's just bog standard Hulk. Plain old vanilla Hulk. Uh, yeah, you can punch, you can move around, blah, 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 blah. Do all your basic Hulk shit. The green bar is Super Hulk. With Super Hulk, you get access to a down stall and Sonic Clap. Now, the white bar that you see here is Hulk out. That's when you get really, really strong. You move twice as fast, you get access to a Rhino Charge. take this way so I keep forgetting what's coming. Is this... yeah. So falling in water deadly, but not if it's shallow. As you can see in Hulk Out, you uh, gradually lose health. This is like a superpower timer, I guess. supposed to go up this way. I never go this way, so I don't remember. Yeet. Oh yes, also in Hulk you get access to that yeet. No, I guess not. Just supposed to go this way. Oh well. Hey, Abomination. Bye. Rhino Charge makes a joke out of him. 
Rhino Charge makes a joke out of most things, to be honest. Yeet. So yes, those uh, diagonal colored pills you see are uh, transformation pills, obviously. They let you transform. And then your banner. But once you get hit... It's all time. Yeah, that was just a long way around, jeez. Okay, never mind. Also, the bosses are really easy. And time for another banger soundtrack. <laughs> They're all damn good, though. If enemies get a hold of uh, these, these are gamma pills. Somehow they turn them into bad gamma pills and then they throw them at you and they hurt you. And then you can't pick them up for health anymore. I don't know the logic, that's just the way the game works. Yeah, this is a rather short game, too. Only five levels. I mean, it takes a good four or five hours when you don't know what you're doing. Once you do know, you can beat it in about an hour. Or depending on how good or bad you are at the platforming, I guess. Shit gets insufferable in level 5. There's a foreground element, there's a good chance there's a secret behind it. Not a secret, but an item of sort. Thank you. 
By the way, the time is only affected uh, during the boss fight. And I've never needed any extra time. Yo, yeah, Josh, what up? You got uh, Wi-Fi. Or at least good enough Wi-Fi. There's a certain rhythm to it, you can't just mash it, unfortunately. Oh, cool, thanks. Oh, wait, you can't hear it. appreciated art there oh no I am less angry Slightly angry Hulk instead of very angry Hulk. The other side is faster, this side has health and other stuff. I ignored that health because there's a Hulk out pill right here. for the rhino. Work for rhino, work for Hulk. I was bullshit about that. I mean, I guess it's not bullshit because the game kind of teaches you that there's fade in areas here for whatever reason. But you need to hit that thing to progress. So if you can't figure that out, no progress for you. So far, my ISP has left me alone. I mentioned it in my stream earlier, but uh, my ISP seems to have it in their head that offering you 10 megabits per second, or sorry, more than 10 megabits per second. By the way, that was Tyrannus. 
the boss of this area. Like I said, the bosses are a joke. Uh, yeah. They think they should offer more than 10 megabits per second upload, but if you're consistently using that, then you should be punished by being throttled. Like, because apparently, like, high-speed uploading is only for pirates. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up because this is another banger of a track. Yeah, so you just made that pill bad now. You wouldn't think so many funky grooves in the Incredible Hulk would go well together, but, uh, it sure shit does. So yes, welcome to why people hate this game. This is a small taste of level 5, by the way. So yeah, Hulk out pill there if you didn't get one beforehand. And yes, I'm kind of playing this off like it's a tutorial. Because why not? I'm not going to hit all the secrets because honestly I don't remember them all, but uh, I do remember quite a few. Although it's really not rocket surgery to finish, to finish, to figure this stuff out. What, nine-year-old me can do it? Yeah, you guys can do it, no problem. that one so you can go up here. Yeah, if elevators get stuck, you kind of have to get off them and get back on them. So you can pick up an enemy after Rhino charging them. Yeet.
So yeah, you need to hit that one or else that platform I just jumped off of would be flipped over. Time for Mr. Crusher Creel. Nope. Wait. Give me a sec. Hang on. Just a little longer. Now it's time for Mr. Crusher Creel. The Absorbing Man. He absorbs things and becomes that. Although in this case, he just changes color. And gains less health. Yeah, he's not very smart. Ah, I absorb glass! Even though surely whatever the floor is made out of is much more is uh, much more sturdy. And now welcome to what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. There are brains everywhere. You gotta hit tonsils for switches. Freaking maggots, those things insta kill you if you touch them. These things make your pain noise when you spit when they spit at you. This level is weird, man. But this groove is so good. Oh yes, and kidneys hold your hold your health. Because why not? Time for it to go hard. Like soundtrack, you didn't have to go this hard. Oh yeah. And here's a heart that's a pick up a bolt. And you throw it in and it starts beating. Because of course. Why wouldn't this be in the Incredible Hulk? I think the explanation is this is like some hallucination by the leader. God, I hate the switch. There we go. So you can fall through those tiny gaps, so, uh, mind the gap. much of a point in transforming into Banner, honestly. And it's not like the game has achievements or anything, so... Dang it. 
believe that one's instant death, but there's a, quite a few later on that, uh... Better believe that's instant death. There's a lot of BS in this. I think that's a traversable pool down there. If you go rooting around, you can pick up, like, health and extra time and maybe transformation pills. This one is obviously shallow enough. Oh, swim in blood. Actually, some of the uh, 80s and 90s Hulk comics, oh man. They got bloody. some of the image comics guys uh doing hulk versus wolverine that shit was brutal rather unfortunately I never got a good standalone hulk movie That isn't just a freaking origin story, anyway. Then again, Edward Norton Hulk was, uh, very forgettable. Here's the boss. You'll never guess what it is. I'm dead. <laughs> yep. Insta Doom. Hey, look, it's a giant brain. What do you do with the brain? You punch it in the back of the head. There. What is that? Is that the medulla? I don't know my brain. for the leader's fortress. Oh, by the way, for some reason, Banner is immune to the uh, electrified flooring. Thank you. 
Yeah, these fucking things. So you can get stuck back there because of these stupid things. If you touch these things on the way up, you also can die. That's the frustration with this game. The jump is very unresponsive. <laughs> like, you have a landing lag, but it doesn't tell you you have a landing lag. Or just sometimes it's not present. Ultimate Dickitry, level five. Thankfully, since I'm Banner, I'm immune to the uh, electricity. Unfortunately, since I'm Banner, this guy interferes with my jumping. This isn't the hard one either.
This is the pain in the ass. Uh, I was about to first try that thing and just, yeah, prove myself wrong. Because these get out of sync so easily. Like I said, when you land, you can't just jump immediately. shot in the foot and it's all over. There's a very specific jump you can do that uh, makes you land on them instantly. I am not very good at it. As Josh just pointed out, looks like I'm having fun because this is the padding of the game. Imagine the leader designing this place. Aha, I know it will stop the Hulk. He has no rhythm. Therefore, if I put a rhythmic thing, a rhythmic platforms, he'll never reach me. Hmm. 
There we go. And one last challenge, don't touch these things. They insta kill your ass. See? And I guess what we get to do again? Yay! Welcoming us like an old friend. This is why most people quit the game. Rightfully so. I'd rate it a lot higher if it wasn't for this bullshit. And it's only two sections, which is just... Like, why? Why you do this? Well, I first tried at that time, so... I'm feeling myself. Crazy. Just gonna use a transform. Bitch! So those things can go into a literally unreachable spot. It's like they went, oh shit, the player's at the end, we better actually, like, give them a slight challenge. But then you're confronted with the leader and just... just... it's... It's worth it for this. Alright, just kill me. <laughs> God, Abomination's so weak. Takes him like five punches to kill Banner. If you, if you wanted to see me slug it out with Abomination instead of just cheesing him, here you go. Mr. Hulk out pill. I honestly forgot how to get that one.
Finally, it's time to fight the leader. <laughs> He's immune. Oh shit, what am I gonna do? I can't rhino charge him, I can't do shit. Oh wait, uppercut dead. Yep, there's your anticlimactic ending to the Hulk. <laughs> escapes the blast and then game over <laughs> uh, it's a good game for what's there but okay no it's not a good game for what's there <laughs> it's got great graphics and great music that's the only things i can say for certain Gameplay is kind of meh. They could have tightened up the controls a little bit. But yeah, the uh, level design. I think they just ran out of time and they're just like, well, shit, we better make the last level really hard. Well, and how does he beat the leader? Uh, uppercuts him. Mr. God of Moogles is streaming. Good. I think that's just loops, honestly. Oh man, but I bet I beat the high score. that high score. I wonder why anybody ever bothered with high scores past Atari. But whatever. So, that's actually going to do it for me tonight. Oh yes, Hulk is punching logos.